Now we'll start the play. Winston, Williams, back to Winston. Driving in the lane, got it! Wait, no, basket, they waved it off. It's gonna be a foul on Winston. No basket. They generally, don't, they generally don't call those fouls on it. Let's see where he is. Yeah, well, that's, that's a great call. Austin Latka was right there, so right off call. the basket. Foul on Winston, his third. 39-37 yeah. after three. We'll be back to this WIAA state tournament game after a short message from your local sponsors. This is your WIAA network station. Spring 93, average rainfall. Frontier outperforms dual two. 94, dry. Frontier outperforms dual two. 95, wet. Frontier outperforms dual two. You can't predict the weather, but over the past four years, Frontier herbicide outperformed dual two. For safe, season-long grass control, wet, dry, or average. If you've been using dual two, you could do better. Frontier. Frozen custard dreams, Ooh. endless summer scenes, the, summer scenes. the best of summer scenes, when you and I ice cream. Frozen custard dreams, Ooh. favorite memories, favorite memories. the best of summer scenes, summer to be covers, when you and I ice cream at covers. I would not go anywhere if I were you. 39-37, Milwaukee Vincent. Thanks for joining us tonight. Jay Wilson and Jim Jones with a beauty Division I semifinal action. It's just like the afternoon game against uh, Whitefish Bay and Salt Perry. Good game. Pick and save stats through three quarters. Field goal percentages, very good. Inside points, Milwaukee Vincent with a 26-18 advantage. Now, here's Craig looking for the tie. The Cougars trail by two. Winston will give Vanderhyde the shot, but he doesn't take a lot of three-pointers from out there. Here's Aubrey Lewis fires. Vanderhyde will drive. Block right. My goodness, he's been a force inside. That's right. That was a good block. Now, near steal by Saunders. He tackles Yanders. That's a very good call there. It's, you have to appreciate the hustle of Saunders, but a good call by the official. He got the foul on Saunders. Got a baseline move, but then guess who was waiting for him? James Wright. Oh, that was clean and as a whistle. What was nice about that, he blocked it and kept it in play. Now, here's Vincent working with a two-point lead. Fade away by Williams, a beauty. 19 points for Marshall Williams. Well, both those young men are going at each other. Here's Dylan. Fouled and got the shot up, I believe. Or will it? Foul is on. Okay, it'll be a bonus attempt. Well, let's see who the foul is on. Jose Winston is the personal foul. Oh. Okay, they changed it. They yeah. announced Winston. I didn't think he was there either, but Tyrone Roan gets the personal foul. So rest easy, Vincent fans. It's not on Winston. So Roan's third personal foul. Winston has three. For Janesville Craig, Tim Collins has three. Dylan rolls in the first. He now has eight points. Craig's deficit is three and now two. Here comes Xavier Swanigan back in for Vincent. Tyrone Roan retreats to the bench. 6.58 remaining in regulation, 41-39. Yeah, they got the starters back in, and once again, uh, Williams has been out there uh, for the whole game. Swanigan from 15, banks it in. Well, he went in. It's been open. <laughs> it's been open, and uh, he put one on. Now, we have a Vincent player on the floor of Winston. He's trying for that steal, and they'll inbound the ball right in front of Tom Diener on the Vincent bench. 
43-39 Vikings. Trying for an all Milwaukee City School final if they can win. Dillon driving, no, and rebound right. He trips over Dillon. Dillon's out of bounds, and they'll give it to Vincent. Well, now, the bench called uh, probably a double-triple pick as Dillon came around on the uh, from right to left side. He didn't get it because Vincent was waiting for him. They played real good defense on that. There is the situation. Both teams are in the bonus as far as free throws are concerned. Now here's Jose Winston. Dan Saunders is right up on it. Yanders driving. Short, lack the rebound, Craig. Saunders behind the back. Oh, look at Winston, tied him up. Nice play by Jose Winston. Good hustle. Mm. Got himself in trouble when he, when he went behind his back. Yeah. And then picked up the dribble. Yeah. That's a good play by Winston. Outstanding. <laughs> Latka tips it momentarily, but Swanigan able to retrieve it. Now Swanigan gets it back and out front to Robert Yanders. Five and a half minutes left, fourth quarter. Yanders, tough luck. Rebound inside, Vincent. Wow, how did he get that in? It's a good shot. Winston reverses it for two. Now a six-point lead. There's the alley-oop to Latka. They ran that same play three times. The alley-oop where they come up and set the pick and backdoor cut. And it's worked. It's worked three uh, times. Every time. 45-41, <laughs> Vincent. Williams. Swanigan. Lewis Byers got a piece of it. Follow Williams. Marshall Williams. Second chance points. Yeah, and he's tough around the basket, isn't he? Williams now has 21. Four and a half minutes left. Well, Byers has been relatively quiet. After a big 22-point night last night, Saunders tipped Byers, no rebound right. Now Byers hustling to try and steal it. Collins gets there before Yanders. Oh, that was tremendous hustle. That was great hustle. Saunders to Lewis Byers. Before the shot, no basket. Foul, number five, Robert Yanders, Milwaukee Vincent. And we'll go to the free throw line. The 1997 WIAA State Basketball Tournament is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin. And milk, the official beverage of the WIAA game. Got milk? Well, you said it, Jim, about Aubrey Lewis Byers. One field goal this half. One attempt. No points, but he's at the free throw line now. 14 in the first half. That's his first of the second half. Seven of seven from the free throw line for Aubrey Lewis Byers. Well, maybe they'll get him involved a little more now. One attempt, you know, 14 points the first half. Soft touch. Four-point lead for Vincent. Well, Jose Winston is like a like a coach on the floor. He's directing traffic out there, telling people where to go. Kind of mesmerize you, and then he'll go around you. Crossover. Uh, Yanders has it in the corner. Three and a half minutes left, fourth quarter, 47-43, Milwaukee Vincent. Winston looking to create again. Yanders outside, short, rebound, Collins. Yeah, I don't think they needed that. You know, they're tired, got about 3.20 to go in the game. They were milking the clock really well. 
Dillon, open three. Fires, Aubrey Lewis, fires, rebound, foul, Robert Yanders. Milwaukee gets it, one and one. For Dillon Fires. had a great look on that one, it just didn't drop for him. And the shot goes up, you can just hear the anticipation yes. of the crowd because they've seen him make so many of those. And you've got a great look for Dillon. He won't miss many of those. No, oh, now you got a great look on that one, great look. Then a rebound uh, uh, by Byers. Back to the free throw line goes Aubrey Lewis Byers. 6-3 sophomore, and we have a timeout. 3.07 left. It's Vincent by four. WIAA State Tournament action continues after a short message from your network sponsor. This is the WIAA Network Station. America's Bounty, brought to you by the 20 million people who put food on your table. Mom's on the phone. She'll be home late. Said, whip up something now. Don't wait. Cheese to the rescue. Make a chicken cheddar grill. Chicken cheddar salsa too. Cheese again, now toasted. Ooh. Cheese to the rescue. Rescue me. Hey, they love it. A family craze. Look at them eat. About 30. Welcome back to the field house. 307 left. Vincent leading Craig 47 43. And we've seen so many successful teams here at State Tournament hit their free throws down the stretch. And Gainesville Craig did a nice job of it last night, and Aubrey Lewis Byers will be going to the free throw line to convert just that. We uh, mentioned that if Vincent would happen to win tonight, they would face Milwaukee, Washington in the, set, in the Division One final. That'd be the first All Milwaukee final since 1959. Milwaukee, Lincoln, Milwaukee North. 38 years. Great coaches back then, eh? Waterworks and Vic Anderson Vic Anderson. North. There's free throws for Craig. 12 out of 13. Make it 13 out of 14 tonight. Aubrey Lewis Byers is nine for nine tonight. Ten for ten. Just a sophomore. Just a sophomore. So is Marshall Williams. Yeah. So two good looking ball players out there. Oh, Yanders wasn't looking for the pass, but got it back. A good break for Vincent. Yeah, it was. The Vikings lead by two. We're under three minutes. They might take a little bit of air out, try to take some time off the clock now. Two point lead. I don't think they're going to be in a delay. They, they want to probably get a good shot at Ganders. Oh, it rims out, and Lewis Byers with a rebound for Craig. The Cougars look to tie. Calling out a special play to Craig Bench. This is too red, too red. alley -oop. That time, Williams got in the way, but Latka, fortunately for Craig, able to keep it. Saunders. Had a look at three. Now he's caught in a little bit of trouble. That finds Lewis Byers. And Wright got that one. Here comes Vincent. Winston knocked to the floor by Dillon. Janesville Craig foul as Winston hits the floor hard. We're not on that out. Okay, on the alley oop. We already got this block. Second, team number seven. They haven't learned. You got to pump <laughs> fake, get the guy in the air. Now here's. At this frenetic pace, Dylan. At the line. Wow, well, he just tripped Winston. up Winston yeah. a little bit. He bounced one his one. right knee off the floor, but he's okay. He's at the free throw line shooting one and one. Makes the first. Milwaukee Vincent substitution. 21, Tyrone Roan. Or Xavier Swanigan. one rolls in so it's a four point lead again as we approach the two minute mark Denver, 
Saunders stop and go. He'll put it up and right blocked it again. Man, oh man. Got to try something else. Yeah, that was a good move, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But then you went right to James Wright, and he's their shot blocker. So now Vincent with the ball and a four-point lead. Williams! Put back! That was a good move. Drove the basket, missed his first shot, got his offensive rebound. Now a minute 27 left, and James the Frank, the pressure is on. They trail by six. We'll be right back to the WIAA State Tournament after a short message from your network sponsor. This is your WIAA Network State. Friends reaching out, working closely, sharing hopes and dreams and plans. Bump your room takes time to understand. We'll help to see you through. To see you. We're the people of Bump your living beside you, working for you. Williams has 23 points for Vincent tonight, but did not overlook the contributions of James Wright defensively this evening. Yeah, I don't know how many block shots he had, but I think, you know, if he's around, I think I have to go another way. He's had a bunch of blocks tonight. And the other big statistic for Vincent, second chance points. Here's Williams at the other end putting it back. He's playing real well. And look at that. 19 to 4, Vincent on second chance points. So here we go. Craig is down six. They have the quick strike ability with a three point shot, but nothing will come easily. Collins for three. Rebound, Williams, Milwaukee, Vincent. So now Craig is really up against it. Oh, yeah. They're going to have to foul. Winston. Creating, threw it out of bounds. Now that's probably one of the worst decisions he's made all night long. He was hoping Roan would head to the basket, but look at that. Only eight turnovers tonight for Milwaukee Vincent. That's good. That's outstanding. So, Craig with perhaps a bit of new life, still down six, but now with the basketball. Collins, no shot. Before the shot, is it going to be a double foul? No, it's going to be a foul on Robert Yander as he pushed Latka trying to get through the screen. So Yanders gets his fourth personal foul, and Austin Latka goes to the free throw line, where he is a 36% free throw shooter on the season. All of one from the line tonight. Substitution. Dan Saunders, number 10 for James Craig for Vander High. Xavier Swanigan for Tyrone Rohn for Milwaukee Vincent. Put in a better rebound there, taller player. Latka's first is short. The 1997 WIAA State Basketball Tournament is brought to you by the Wisconsin Technical College System, providing education for careers and customized training for business and industry in today's high-tech world. Go here, get there. Latka misses two, and Winston has the rebound. Now he's triple teamed, but gets it to Swanigan. Vincent with a six-point lead with 40 seconds no. left. Foul, Janesville Craig. Now, if you wanted to foul somebody, I thought 44 would have been a good time to foul him. Uh, Yanders is a pretty good free-throw shooter. Great foul, Chris Dillon. Yanders yeah, last night against the eight. Wausau West is four out of six from the line. And Bob Suter's Janesville Craig line. Cougars need points in a hurry. 21, Tyrone. Tyrone Rohn back in for Milwaukee Vincent. They make that same switch back now to get Rohn back in for Swanigan. Probably a better ball handler than Swanigan. And perhaps a better free throw shooter, too. Six points tonight for Robert Yanders. Make it seven.
This to put Vincent up by eight. The Vikings are looking good now, but there's still a couple of more miles to travel. I would say unless they hit a couple of trays and short of a miracle and Vincent uh, messes up, I think it's about done. Lewis Byers working on right. And a foul on right. Lewis Byers goes to the free throw line. Well, good news for Craig. The clock stops and a chance to put points on the board with 26 26 left. Something he didn't want to do, but then again, you know, he's got to make him from the free throw line. He's perfect. What is he, 10 for 10? Yep. Okay, again the switch. Lonigan for Rowan. Craig also makes a move as Vander High for Austin Latkus. So Craig goes a little quicker with Vander High. Probably looking to shoot the tray when they get the ball back. Or defensively, too, to put a little bit of pressure on. Well, there's the first miss of the night for Aubrey Lewis Byers from the free throw line. He has 18 points. Gainesville Craig has made only one of eight shots from the field in the fourth quarter. And now the Cougars find themselves down 53-46. And a Gainesville Craig foul. Number 12, Chris Dillon. That was a great trap over there. The uh, the other player had to move up and cut off the passing lane. They had a great trap great there. Great foul, Chris Dillon, his fourth. Team number nine. In for Vincent, 21, Tyrone Rowe. For Vincent. Tyrone Rohn back in. Austin Latka returns. Bulk up the Craig lineup. At the line, Robert Yander. Vincent Viking fans anticipating a return trip to the state championship game. 23.1 seconds left. 53 46 the Vikings. Yanders nails another. Milwaukee Vincent as a team has hit all five free throw attempts this quarter. Down crunch time. That's when you need them. Six out of six. Those are the stats that win you games. Exactly. Now, Craig has to get it up in a hurry. There's Latka for three. That's short, and this one's going to go to Milwaukee Vincent as we're under 10 seconds. Boy, and how about the Milwaukee Vincent Vikings? It's not often you win a state championship, but it's even more rare to return the very next year. And a great run for Bob Suter's Janesville Craig Cougars. They'll end their season 24 and 2. Not too bad a record. Did a great job again, like he usually does. Yeah. And Suter will clear his bench with 9.8 left. You see the sadness on the faces of the Craig crowd, but. What a great run it has been. So in for Craig, number 24 is Matt Bain. Number 40 is Troy Cruiser. 54 is Dave Geiger. 32 is Troy Angus. 22 for Milwaukee, Vincent is in. That's Craig Harden, a junior. Jose Winston to the free throw line and Nothing new there. Another made free throw for Milwaukee Vincent. Yeah, and he's been tough this past year down the stretch shooting his free throws as the entire Vincent team. They refuse to miss in the fourth quarter, and Jose Winston, have a good rest tonight, young man. You did an outstanding job in the Division I semifinals. Yes, 20, he did. 23 great Perry now in for Milwaukee Vincent. Final seconds of the game. Bame for three. That's good. But Milwaukee Vincent moves back into the championship game tomorrow night. Final score, Milwaukee Vincent 57, James L. Craig 49. Back to this WIAA State Tournament game after a short message from your local sponsor. This is the WIAA Network Station.